number 16. If the atmospheric pressure is 1.014 times 10 to the 5 pascals and the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cube, what is the gauge pressure under a 2 meter deep swimming pool? Now, this is something that we normally get confused of. When we say gauge pressure, it's the pressure here. So we call this a gauge pressure. Now here above is the, at is the atmospheric pressure. And if you add them, that is called the total pressure or sometimes other books will call it the absolute pressure. So in the problem, we're just looking for the gauge pressure, which in this case, we use the normal formula of the density gravity height, rho GH. Okay, so let's compute for that one. What is the gauge pressure under two meters deep swimming pool? Now, if you compute for that one, the gauge pressure is density. This is our density. Let's just get the given, the density. And this is the height. So the density is 1,000 times gravity. Let's say gravity as 10. Let's make it 10 meters per second squared. So 10 times the height, which is 2. Now that would result to 2 and 4 zeros, 20,000 pascals. This is what we call the gauge pressure. But if you can see, that would be so, that would be 2 times 10 to the 4 pascals. But as you can see, we don't have that in our answer. We have this. Hmm. Why is that? Why is that? And the problem says the answer is that you're seeing. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they're not really looking for the gauge pressure. Maybe they're looking for the absolute pressure, which is the sum of the atmospheric and the gauge. And we have here the atmospheric pressure, which is this one. So let's try. Maybe this is the one that they're looking for. So the absolute pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure. So that means that is 1.014 times 10 to the four to the fifth pascal plus let's just put this into times 10 to the fifth pascal so that we can add that 0 0.2 times 10 to the fifth pascal and we will have an answer of 1.214 times 10 to the fifth pascal and that is letter c which is the answer here but this is actually wrong they should not be looking for the gauge pressure. They should be looking for the absolute pressure or the total pressure to have this answer. So this is a correction of our of this problem, the absolute pressure or the total pressure.